Hello again. So last week uh, I spent a couple of days over at Sprague Lake in Washington. Uh, didn't catch a lot of fish, but the ones I caught were beauties. Uh, I had to go back one more day this year before, you know, uh, it's spring. Uh, the heat, last week it was starting to get hot. Um, and now this weekend and all the next week, it's we're having our 80 degree May heat wave. We get this every May. Uh, those fish are, there's going to be, there should be a lot more of them up in the shallows. <clears throat> so I figured I'd go one more, fish a whole, one whole day, make one more, a third video. Um, and the, the strategy is going to be, because I spent two days out there, I got a feel for I, where I saw fish, where I caught fish and areas that I fished where I didn't get a bite. And so I'm gonna basically hit the spots where I know there's fish. Whether I catch them or not is another story. And I'm not gonna spend a long time, but I am gonna spend most of my time in the, in the uh, lily pads. Cause there's a, a good population in there. What I'm hoping, I'm gonna try to, to work this so that I go on a day where the sun's not supposed to come out. Cloudy. You know, so those fish aren't on high alert. Uh, I'm not sight fishing. I'm not. I'm not even bringing a rod for sight fishing. Um, but my cast to those lily pads, I'm going to be trying to hit beds. So I am bed fishing. Um, so I'm concentrating a lot of time in the lily pads. I'm going to pick them apart best I can, and then those other areas where I caught fish. The only place that would be new water that I might fish, there's an island. Uh, in the west end of the lake. When I was there, I was planning on fishing it and a boat came and was on the island. I, you know, I could have gone on the other side, but I just, you know, I figured if I was fishing the island, I would want to be able to fish the whole island, go around it. So I left it alone. That's water I, I, I might stop and fish this time that I didn't fish last time. The rest, I'm just gonna hit the spots where, where I know there's fish uh, I'm going to fish one long day, make a video out of it, and see, see what happens. Hopefully, uh, man, I'll tell you, I came close twice to breaking the 20-pound mark. Should have broke it the second day. Um, that's, for me, that's a huge deal, to, to even the thought of catching a 20-pound bag on camera. I've, I've done it before, but not common, you know. I can probably count on one hand the number of days I've had, you know, where I've caught over 20 pounds for my five biggest bass. So anyway, let's go try it for a third day, see what happens. Good morning. Okay, it's day three on Sprague Lake. This is my third and final time on Sprague Lake for 2023. I won't be coming back. Um, so I'm going to apply what I learned the first two times to fish today. Um, my plans have already been altered. I launched at the same place. My plan was to start in the south east corner. There's a boat there. <laughs> so the plan is to work the south shore all the way to the western end of the lake. Uh, so what I did is I came I'm not halfway, but I came a ways from there, and I'm going to work my way back towards the south wet east corner, and hopefully the boat's gone by then. And anyway, that's the plan. I'm going to go all the way down the south shore to the to the end, cross over. Uh, the only water I'm going to fish today, probably that I never fished. There's an island over there. There was a boat on it last time. I'm probably going to fish around that. But I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on water that I caught fish, saw fish. I'm gonna skip all the water that was unproductive and just hit all these spots. I've only got three three uh, rods. I got the Senko, which I'll be fishing the most. I got the spinner bait, which I'm probably not gonna fish much if at all. And I tied on a uh, shallow running crankbait. I didn't see any grass in this. The only vegetation I've seen so far in this lake are uh, lily pads. Um, and there's a lot of rock, so I'm gonna bounce that uh, crankbait in shallow water and see what happens there. Um, it's a long day. 
I, I'm not setting a, a time limit today. I'm fishing until I run out of water or I get sick of fishing, which <laughs> that may not happen. So uh, five fish limit. I'm gonna I'm gonna utter a, a sentence right now that I've never said in 25 years of bass fishing. My goal today is to catch a 20 pound five fish limit. <laughs> and the only reason I'm setting that goal, last week I was here two days, uh, had 18 something the first day and missed, I lost one fish that day. He may not have gotten me over 20, but I might have been close. And the second day I only caught four, I had 19 something. I just needed one more bite, so it's doable. And there were a lot of fish moving up last week. I expect there to be more up now. The weather, they're calling for possible thunderstorms. I hope it rains, because that'll get these guys going. Um, the sun's out now, but it's hazy, because there's a lot of clouds. I want cloud cover today, and a ripple. I'm not sight fishing at all. Um, I want these fish to be a little more aggressive. Um, anyway, let's see, I guess that's it. Let's go fishing. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in lily pads. I saw a lot of fish in the lily pads when I was here last time. So I'm not just gonna be fishing the outer edge. I'm gonna slowly work my way in and fish the whole thing. And there's a lot of lily pads in here. I'm going around the corner, there's more. So I'll be spending, I'll be doing this a lot today. <laughs> GoPro start recording. Got my first one. I got my first one. Has he got me wrapped? Nope, there he is. That's a solid fish. Yeah. Come here, buddy. Oh. Come here. I got you. Oh, that's better than solid. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. They don't have little ones in here. <laughs> okay. I'll put you back here in a minute, pal. Three, fourteen. Three pounds, fourteen ounces. That's a good start. GoPro, stop recording. What I'm doing on these lily pads, I'm working a small stretch on the outside, and then I'm coming back next layer in. He was next layer in. So uh, three, three fourteen. I mean, <laughs> I've been fishing uh, fifteen minutes. I saw a swirl back in there how I'm gonna get him out I don't know but we'll worry about that when the time comes <laughs> GoPro start recording well well we're at that point where I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get him out. <laughs> Let me see if I can get closer. Oh, he's coming to me. Oh, thank you. Where is he? Oh, man. He's right here. Oh, there's his tail. 
Okay, hang on, buddy. Oh no. Don't don't you do it. Don't you do it. I gotta find him. Ugh. I know he's on there, right? I know you're on there, buddy. Okay, let's see here. He's right in that. I don't want to go in, but if I have to, I will. Oh, he's right there. Hi, how are you? Is that him? Yeah, he's right there. Oh, hi, buddy. There he is. Ugh. Another good one. Oh. I'm using, uh, I think it's, I'm gonna say 14 pound test. That should be strong enough, but, uh, I don't know. I can't, uh, can't handle a Senko any heavier than 14. That's as heavy as I'll go. And I knew I was going to be doing this. So I went from 12 to 14. He weighs 313, 313. He's an ounce smaller than the last guy. <laughs> all right, buddy. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. There you go. GoPro. So <laughs> I used the push pole to get all the way back through here. Um, I actually was flipping, which I rarely flip. I pitch a lot, you know, like, like I'll make one more. Who knows? Maybe I'll get lucky and be catch one. I'm going to get out of here, though, go around the corner. But uh, I spent a lot of time. Um, so... I don't do a lot of flipping. I just not don't have that kind of water. Um, but this is what I was this is what I was doing. You know, I would just I would find the hole. It's too too close. Well, it's harder to pitch to it. So rather than pitch to it, I was just going along, almost doing the dipping thing. But. Uh, this is what I did. Anyway, I'm, I'm done in this spot. I'm gonna go around the corner. I think there's more over there, and if not, I caught fish and hadn't saw fish over there. Those guys are over there now, so I'm gonna work my way down that shore back that way. Number three, I came around the corner and I had, oh, he's pulling, oh, he came off. Oh, that was a good one. Damn it. Came around the corner, I got all these, uh, Lily pads to fish. I don't know how he came off. GoPro, start recording. Uh, I got him again. He bit again. I can't believe he bit again. But he did. There he is. You're not too bright, pal. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Gotcha. Another three something. Yeah, he's uh <clears throat> that's an aggressive bass. I had that bass hooked, came off. I waited, I fished this part, and then I came back in there, and uh, I'll be darned. He hit it again. Okay, see if we're in that four pound range. He's lighter than the other ones. But I know he's more than that. Three, ten. Three pounds, ten ounces. 
Nice fish, boy, I tell you. There you go, pal. Right there. GoPro, stop recording. Uh, that's number three. I've been fishing an uh, hour and a half. 310. I got to get a four something or a five if I'm going to get those 20 pounds. GoPro, start recording. There's, there's number four. Oh. Get out of there, come on. Get out of there. There he is. That's my, oh no, get out of there. I think that's the littlest one. <laughs> no, maybe not. No, he's fat, you're fat. Oh, look at this guy. That's not the, he's, he's bigger than the last one, I think. Well, I just spooked anything that was left in this group. That's okay, it's worth it. Oh, come on. God dang it. Why does it do that? Three, fourteen. Three, fourteen, three, fifteen. I'm going to go three. Now I'm going to go three, fifteen. It's locked on. Just under four. So, I got two. <laughs> there's a little patch and then there's a whole bunch of it here. I got two in this little patch and I'm not even gonna fish this because I, anything there I spooked. I got four fish. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. I haven't even been fishing two hours. All right, let's keep going. I was here last week. I saw two, two bass mating in front of me between those two logs. So I just came over here for the heck of it. And he's sitting right there, guarding it. I'm not gonna sight fish, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get him to bite, make a few casts in there. And you know, he's probably been caught. Oh, I don't know. I've only seen one other boat, but I got a feeling this place probably gets fished pretty good on weekends. Um, and this is one of those deals where if you come into this little cut you, It's clear enough. You can see the wood It's it's gonna draw you to it. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's been caught, but I'm not gonna mess with him Okay, so I'm not sight fishing, but what I'm doing is see all the rock I Tried the crankbait. I didn't get any bites. I'm just I'm just cruising the bank to see if I see any so I don't waste my time, you know. There's so much of this bank rocky stuff to fish. If there's nothing in here, I don't wanna waste my time, you know, because um, there's areas, I, I've got a lot more lily pads on the other end of the lake. And so far I haven't seen anything. I don't know, this is, looks like a great, great spawning type water with all these rocks. But uh, yeah, see if I don't see anything, I can skip there's a lot of it. I wasn't gonna fish the water that I fished last time and didn't get a bite. I wasn't gonna even attempt it. But there's other water like this that I didn't fish. And this way I can skip all that too and and uh, zero in on more productive water. I've gone, uh, see my last fish was at 10, it's quarter to 12. So I've gone almost two hours without a bite. Um, 
I'm almost back. The, the ramp is there. That boat was over here. So I'm going to fish over all the way to here. I caught fish here last time. And then I'm running towards the uh, other end of the lake. Okay, so it's time to run. I'm in the uh, far southeast corner. I'm in a foot of water. I'm going to have to push myself out of here. I'm running. That's the south shore. I'm going to run to the to the western southwestern end. There's a bunch of lily pads there. Right now that's my confidence uh, uh, deal. I tried fishing all this, didn't get a bite. I want to fish the lily pads, so we're going to make a run. Okay, we're in the uh, southwest corner. I got lots of lily pads. And last time I was here, there were a lot of fish. I wasted hours in that section over there, sight fishing. These, uh, I got four in the boat. Those four fish, that, that, that's what I wasted time. You know, I saw them, they saw me, and I tried to catch them. Those guys, I was far enough away. The only thing I don't like is the sun. I was hoping we were going to have a stormy day today, actually. But uh, anyway, I got lots of lily pads to fish. Where'd they go? 20 years. I don't know. There's so much of these uh, lily pads. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to fish the edge. Try to catch the most aggressive fish before I start, you know, dissecting it. Because, I mean, it goes for a long ways. And I, when I was here last time, there were fishing. There were fish in here, I remember. I sight fished, and there were a bunch over there. So I'm going to fish the edge quickly all the way down, and then I'll, you know, get into the center of it. I haven't had a bite in three hours. I started the lily pads around the corner. I'm fishing the edge. Haven't had a bite. I just recognized uh, that little cut in there. That's where I spent, I don't remember how long, two or three hours sight fishing. So I know there's fish in there, uh, but I want to finish here. I mean, there's, there's more over there and I remember seeing them there and there's lily pads over there. I remember seeing them over there. But I'm going to finish the outside edge here and then I'm going to I'm gonna move in and uh, try to get them in a little deeper. I don't know if this place gets hammered on weekends and maybe guys just take turns fishing the edge of these and these fish have all been caught. I, I don't know. I expected I'd get a bite by now though. That's a lot of water. Start recording. There's my, there's my fifth fish. There's my, there's my fifth fish. Whoa, that's the best one, I think. Now if we can just get them to come this way. This way. Buddy. Nope, not my best fish. <laughs> when he jumped, I thought he was. Come here, you're my, keep, you're my limit. Come here, you're my limit. Oh, no, 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 no. Come here. Would you please come here? Oh. That's five. Woo. All right, all right, boy, he's angry. I may not get 20 pounds, but at least I got a limit. Got done saying 
how much water I fished without a bite and how this cut in here was the cut I went into last time and wasted wasted three pounds twelve three twelve all right all right all right okay GoPro stop recording That's a limit. Three. Okay. It's one o'clock. I'm gonna total up my my weight just to see how close I am to 20. So I got three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, uh, sixteen, eleven, seventeen, five, uh, seventeen, five, uh, eighteen, two. 18 to I'm I'm calculating 19 pounds right now I need one pound I need to call at just well obviously I need to call fish <laughs> I can call three of them for what six ounces each anyway we're close 19 pounds look at all those pelicans see ya boys This is the last, I believe, group of lily pads. And then I'm gonna go back to where I caught that fifth fish and work it deeper into the uh, into the, the lily pads. It's hard to believe I'm the only boat on this lake. There was one other guy here. I watched him, there's a, there's a launch ramp right there. He trailered his boat about one o'clock and went home. So right now, as far as I can tell, I am the only boat on this lake. It's got to be because it's a weekday. I bet the weekends it gets packed here because, I mean, the fishing's not wide open, but boy, there's a lot of good fish in here. Go pro, start recording. Oh boy. I got one. Oh boy. He's gonna call, I think. Oh yeah, he's gonna call. That's a good fish. Oh, that might be my 20 pounds. Come here, buddy. No, 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 don't do that. Don't, don't even do that. Don't even do that. Come here, come here, I got you. Oh yeah, yeah. I caught a 20 pound bag of bass today. I got three tens, my little guy. Is he 410? Eh. Let's see. Oh, that's it. That would be something else. Let's see. Did I speak too soon? Maybe. I think it's the biggest one I've caught today. I can't see. Four pounds, 12, 13 ounces. Four pounds, 13 ounces. That's a 20 pound bag of fish. Wow. Look at that boy or girl. Isn't that a beautiful fish? See you, pal. Thank you. GoPro, stop recording. Okay, yeah, so he calls out the uh, 310. I just added uh, one pound, three ounces, and I think I said I had 19. So I got over 20 pounds. That is hard to believe. I've caught, I can count on one hand the number of times my five biggest fish weighed 20 pounds. And uh, that's fishing a lot of days. So for me to come here and say on this day, <laughs> I want to do that is just mind blowing. That shows you how, how good this lake is in terms of size. I cannot believe 
I'll tell you something, I'm not a religious person. If there's a heaven, this is it. I'm the only one on a lake that's full of big bass. It's hard to believe. Start recording. We got another one. We got another one. Ah. Come here. Oh boy. He wants to go back to those. Come here. They're all the same. Three to four pounds. Well, actually, that last one was bigger. Oh, geez, this guy's four pounds. Oh! Whoop, whoop. I think this guy might be four pounds. How you doing, pal? Oh, hook came right out. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Hang on, buddy. Give me a minute. Three fourteen. See ya, bud. GoPro, stop recording. Okay, three fourteen. Jeez, I just gained <laughs> two ounces. He calls the three twelve. That's unreal. My smallest fish is 313. <laughs> and it's 2.30. Okay, it's almost 3 o'clock. This is the island. I'm going to fish it. I'm going to fish this side of it, the shallow side of it only. And then I'm going to run back to the lily pads. Um, like I say, I don't have a set time to go home, so... When I get tired of fishing, that's when I'm going to go home. I stopped at uh, Subway yesterday and bought dinner. <laughs> so uh, it's a two-hour drive home, but I can eat dinner and then go home. Anyway, let's fish around the island, uh, see if there's anything over here. Okay, well, I burned about an hour around the island, didn't get a bite, saw one fish. This is, uh, I'm back at those lily pads where I, I sight fished. The other day I caught one in here today. I'm gonna work my way up in into it. I'm probably gonna end up way in the back there where there's a big opening. I'm just gonna work my way in. I'm gonna use my push pole when it gets too shallow. And uh, cause uh, for me, the best fishing's in these lily pads. Here's one. I don't think he can help me. Is that unbelievable? He's probably, well, the size of the ones I've been catching, and the small one now is what, 313? I don't think he can help me. <laughs> That's unbelievable. I came all the way back, worked my way all the way back through here. I haven't gotten a bite, but you'd think all that effort, you'd get rewarded. So far, no. Obviously, they're, they're in here, but this ridiculous weather, look at this. Sun's overhead, no wind. I was hoping for a thunderstorm. I really was. But uh, it's not going to happen today. Okay, it's uh, it's quarter after four. I said I didn't wasn't going to put a time limit on it. I got burned out on uh, lily pad fishing. So I shot across to the, now I'm on the north, kind of west, northwest. I, I, I was here last time. I wasn't too impressed with uh, that corner. Um, so I'm kind of down a little, but I'm gonna work the North Shore all the way back to the ramp. 
and whatever time that is that's where I'm when I'm gonna go home so um, anyway that's the update Guess what? I got one under three pounds. <laughs> you are in here. Hey, little guy. Look at that, huh? Wow, grow up, pal. GoPro, start recording. There's one. You know what? He's going to be under three pounds too. You know what? He's going to be under three pounds too. Well, maybe not. Yeah, I think he is. What are you doing, pal? Oh, boy, I'll tell you what. No, I was wrong. It's not going to help me. Come here, come here. Ah. Gotcha. gotcha. It's been a while. It's been a while. Let's see, he's got a beat. What is it, 313? Oh. 313. That's my uh, second one in this spot. That first one I just, I'm going to show on camera, it was a little guy. I just wanted to show him because he's the only one I caught that, uh, 310. 310's not going to help me, boy. Can you believe that? Look at this fish. Not going to help me. See you, pal. Okay, I'm done. I'm hungry and I'm tired. So, uh, let's total it up. I know it's over 20. I had, uh, let's see, three, hang on, I gotta do this again. Three, there was a 314, a 313, a 413, a 315, and a 314. That's 3, 6, 9, 12, 16, uh, 17, 11, 18, 5, no, 18, 8, 19, 7, 20, 5. 20 pounds, 5 ounces. Unreal. <laughs> um, I gotta tell you, if you're an average Joe fisherman like me, and you don't have a lot of time, you can't just come out here whenever you want, and you want to catch a 4 pounder, 4 pounders up here, they're not easy to catch. You know, especially when you don't get to spend a lot of time on the water. Um, you want to get a good have a good chance of catching one come here in may when the water's warming up and they're moving in and fish those uh, lily pads because they're in there and honestly i mean i caught a lot of fish i ended up catching what five then i called twice six seven i caught uh another one over here that didn't help me eight and i think i caught another one that didn't help me nine and then i could if you want to count the little guy I had 10 fish but if the wind blows a little and it's cloudy I got a feeling it's even better I'm not complaining but I'm just saying because there were a lot more fish in those uh, lily pads that just weren't biting and I, I think because it was so calm anyway um, that's it for me and uh, Sprague Lake probably till next May I'll, I'm not gonna forget this I, I'm sure I'll be back next year um, 
but uh, that's it for this one this was round three and uh, 20 pounds I can't even believe <laughs> okay I got one more to do for the year I'm gonna I'm gonna do one more video that'll be coming up okay thanks for watching see ya